Welcome to Podcasts, recorded live at the Center for Spiritual Living in Portland, Oregon. We have many programs, classes, and workshops developed just for our online audience. To find out more, go to our website at cslportland.org and look under the Online tab. Our mission is to open hearts, ignite minds, and make a difference. If you'd like to support our center and its video podcast, you can donate online at cslportland.org slash donate. Allow us to become part of your extended spiritual community. Wherever you are on your spiritual journey, you are most welcome at the Center for Spiritual Living. show our love to our friends band ken brewer jim solberg don schultz wonderful grand rising i finally got it there it is <laughs> and good morning to our online folks um, let's all stand this morning and sing our opening song for the month i start my day with love and thank you to the pcsl singers yeah sangers excuse me yeah all right Breathing in this beauty, this joy of community. Yes. Let's start our day. Let's sing together. I start my day with love. When I start my day with love, that's what I get more of is love. I start my day. Start my day with love. When I start my day with love, that's what I get more of is love oh love sing it y'all Start my day. 
Blessings, thank you. Wow, what a day, what a way to start the day, huh? Thank you again, LaRonda and the Sangers and the friends. Thank you for starting our day with love and peace and joy. So good morning and grand rising. Welcome to the Portland Center for Spiritual Living. We're a science of mind community that teaches and practices spiritual principles to transform our lives and make the world a better place. Wherever you are on your spiritual journey, you're welcome here. All we ask is that you stay open to the possibility of changing your entire life, starting with changing your mind. My name is Sandy Liebold, and my chosen pronouns are she and her. I serve as a licensed spiritual practitioner here, and it's my delight to welcome you this morning. Is anyone new in the sanctuary? You raise your hand, we won't bite. Okay. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> uh, there are welcome packets at the table in the back of the sanctuary. They look like this, and um, they are available for new people, or I guess even if you never got one before, you can be new today. The same packet information is available for our global community on our website at cslportland.org under the About Us menu tab. Either way, you can learn who we are, what we stand for, and how we might serve you. On our website, you can also sign up for weekly emails that detail our events. You can register for classes and even get a free gift on your birthday. Uh, so moving into announcements, as I'm sure you know, we have selected and hired our new senior minister, Reverend Bridget McCann. It's been a process, but it was a good one, and I think we're all excited to be at this point in the process. Uh, her first Sunday will be June 9th, and we are planning a special celebration that afternoon in the form of a fundraising concert uh, to be held at 3 p.m., and none other than Eddie Watkins Jr. will be our featured musician. Yes. So save the date, Sunday, June 9th, be here, and prepare to welcome Reverend Bridget with a joyful community get-together. I want to remind everyone that today at 1230, we will be holding our annual membership meeting. There's room for about 30 of us upstairs. I think we'll probably be able to fit, I don't know, uh, in the all-purpose room. That's because of fire regs, so it's not it's anything else. And there will be some light lunch available for the people who are in person. And of course, capacity is unlimited for those who are attending simultaneously on Zoom. At this important meeting, members will have the opportunity to vote on our new slate of board members and to hear updates from our church leadership. And Reverend Bridget will be joining us for the meeting via Zoom. And we'll also talk to the community towards the end of the meeting. So you can find the Zoom link on the homepage of our website, or if you're here in person and want to stay, please do that. It's a good, good meeting to have. Also, upcoming is a fun day at Camp Cedar Ridge. And we're all invited. Uh, I, I confess I'm one of the people in the room, and a couple of us were talking ahead of time, who also have not yet been to Camp Cedar Ridge, so I know. <laughs> Heavy gasping from the Cedar Ridge part of the, the room this morning. Um, so Saturday, May 4th, it's a celebration of World Labyrinth Day. Starting at 10 a.m., we can help with some beautification projects out there, planting and rock painting. You can bring your own lunch or buy it there at noontime. And then after lunch at 1 o'clock, there will be a labyrinth walk. Uh, and I know that several people in this community have participated in creating and recreating that labyrinth. So it's, it's uh, near and dear to us. 
Camp Cedar Ridge is in Vernonia, in case you don't know, only about an hour's drive from our center. So let's show our continued support for this CSL program and facility. Uh, education opportunities. Right now our educational ministry is in the middle of studying the essential Ernest Holmes. But if you missed registering for this class, not to worry. Uh, consider taking a class this summer. We're offering a class called Infinite You as the Universe. There's information about it online and in your packet. It's going to be held on Thursday evenings from mid-July through August. So if you're a person who plans well in advance, Think about that for your summer plans. It will be held online in your virtual classroom, so you know you could even sign in from the beach if you're there. Um, you could be in the sunshine all day and then tune in for your spiritual growth from 6 to 9 p.m. Pacific. And again, information is on our website. Um, I invite you to visit our website for all sorts of information about our classes, programs, and events, all here to support your spiritual growth. Uh, today, licensed practitioners Andy Turin and Annette Bolster are serving on High Watch, holding a sacred container of consciousness in the sanctuary and for our virtual spiritual community. And by the way, if you're uh, attending, if you're watching on Facebook Live, uh, we want to welcome you as well and just put a, put a comment in the chat and we can welcome you um, virtually as well. Today, our special music features our very own music director extraordinaire, yeah. Loranda Steele, <laughs> with our wonderful Friends Band. Today's message, yes, here for the band. <clears throat> Today's message is entitled Gentle Cosmicness, and it's by licensed practitioner and the executive director of Camp Cedar Ridge, Casey Wilson. So please welcome Casey back to PCSL. Glad to have you here. Our flowers today are courtesy of Kat Jacobs. Thank you, Kat. And so now I invite you to sit back and relax, because I know that somewhere between this beautiful spiritual community, the music, the meditation, and the message is exactly what your heart came to receive. Ah, good morning again. We enter our sacred time of meditation together. Um, if you'd like to sing along, I invite you to do that. Um, the lyrics are on your lyric sheet. If you'd like to just sit and move into the meditation quietly, please do let these words wash over you. Hmm. Hmm. I embrace the new, I accept a new way of thinking. I embrace the new, I accept. A new way of thinking. I accept. I allow. I embrace. And I say. I 
embrace the new. I accept a new way of thinking. I accept, I will allow, I embrace, I accept, I allow, I embrace. And now I invite you to just stay in that place of quiet and connection as we move into affirmative prayer, that prayer that is a way of saying yes, saying yes to the recognition that there is just one thing happening here. It is God, it is spirit, it is the universe unfolding in and through and as everything on this planet, through each event, through each person, through each place, through each being, each of us is part of this oneness, this oneness that is our existence on this planet. And what I know is that since there is only one thing happening, I am one with it. And so is each person here and each person within the sound of my voice and each person that even isn't listening at the moment. It's still true. We are all one. Each of us is an expression of this divine idea. And today we focus on just the, the amazing abundance of that. This, our life, this life on this planet, this divine life is one of joy and peace and love ever unfolding. It is the universe saying yes to itself through us in every moment in our lives. Everything is conspiring for our good, is expressing in this celebration of life life as love, as joy, as peace, as wisdom, as guidance, as wholeness. All of those qualities of God, of spirit, are here expressing in and through us and available to us in every moment. And so for this, I'm so grateful. And I say yes, and I invite you to say yes to knowing this truth right here and right now. Thanks be. Blessed be, and together we say, and so it is. And now I invite you to just stay in this place of peace and love and joy, meditating, contemplating the celebration that is life unfolding. Got a wonderful song this morning called We Are. Um, I think several artists have done it. Um, Sweet Honey in the Rock, um, one of the groups that we, you know, we've listened to. So let it bless your soul. We are. For each child that's born, a morning 
star rises and sings to the universe who we are. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are. We are our grandmother's prayers. We are our grandfather's dreamings. We are the breath of the ancestors. We are the spirit of God. We are mothers of courage. We are fathers of time. We are daughters of dust we and sons of great wisdom. We are We're sisters one. of mercy. We are one. brothers of love. We are lovers one. of life and one. builders of nations. We are We're seekers one. of truth. We are keepers one. of faith. We are We're makers one. of peace. We are the wisdom one. of ages. We, we are our grandmother's friend, we are. We are our grandfather's dreamings, we are. The breath of the ancestors, we are. The spirit of God, we are mothers of courage, we are fathers of time, we are daughters of dust, we and sons of great vision, we we're are sisters one. of mercy, we are mothers one. of love, we are we're lovers one. of life, we and one. builders of nations, we we're seekers one. of truth, we keepers one. of faith. We are makers of peace with the wisdom of ages. We are our grandmother's friends. Oh, we are our grandfather's dreams. We are the breath of the ancestors. We are the spirit of God. Child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are. We are one. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's wonderful to be back here. Uh, my name is Casey Wilson, and as has been uh, alluded to already, I'm the executive director at Camp Cedar Ridge. And I just want to say how much I appreciate all the support that we get from Portland CSL for uh, Camp Cedar Ridge. So thank you. It's Wonderful and amazing. I spoke to LaRonda this morning and said, I think she has been the special musician every time I've been here. I think we're a team. Um, and I think every time it has been the same thing that has happened, which is the, the special music ends up supporting the talk in a way that I could not have imagined. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. Um, but before I jump into that, I want to acknowledge that um, with me today, uh, I have a fan club. Uh, 
my, my husband, Doc, uh, has moved from the Big Island of Hawaii to join me here at Camp Cedar Ridge. So. <laughs> Uh, he's also a practitioner, so I'm really uh, excited about, of course, to have had him made that decision to come along for the ride. Um, and then we also have Michelle Geyer, who's the director of business operations at Camp Cedar Ridge. She lives in California, um, so she works remotely most of the time, but we had some um, professional development this week, so she flew up for that, and so we're happy to have her. <laughs> joining as well. So the talk um, today, um, the theme that the um, Global Themes um, folks have chosen for this week is celebrating life. Um, and when I talked to Laura Perkins about doing the talk this week um, and I found out what the theme was supposed to be, I was just like, ah, I got that. That's, <laughs> I mean, I'm a camp director, right? So the it, that's a lot of what we do is provide um, a vessel for people to connect and ground and celebrate life and remember what's important about life. And a lot of times that we're doing that for groups who don't even know that's what we're doing, right? But that's what's happening. And our motto at Camp Cedar Ridge is discover the good. So, you know, that's a, I'm sort of swimming all the time in that sea of reminding people to, to, uh, re to remember and connect with that, that sacredness of life. We're running an after-school program also at, called Vernonia Village, and um, the theme of that is yes to life, right? So, so right, it, all of these things are um, very much in my lane. And so I was kind of like easy peasy, no problem. 20 minutes on celebrating life, I got this, right? Um, but then, the week, <laughs> but then, but wait, there's more, yes. So the week that I am preparing this talk, I find that more than 40 college campuses around the US and Canada are engulfed in protests. <clears throat> My own alma mater, USC, there's been 90 arrests and the main graduation ceremony has been canceled, which is something that I feel deeply personally because I participated in that when it was my turn. Right? So it's, it's difficult to do the um, sort of light and fluffy celebrate life talk that I had in mind a couple of weeks ago um, in, the, in light of hearing the cries uh, of our youth and there being willing to risk so much in the short and the long term for something that they care so deeply about, which is the value and dignity of human life. In CSL, we talk a lot about our own personal journeys and how we navigate that, but we also acknowledge that we're operating in a greater context, something in our classes that we sometimes call race consciousness. And so, I want to read to you the CSL's Spiritually Motivated and Social Engagement Committee's statement on what it is to know peace in the midst of war. Given the current level of escalation in Israel and Palestine, we bring our awareness and love to all of those who are touched by this crisis and all who suffer. The loss of life is devastating, and we decry violence in all forms. To quote the patriarchs of Jerusalem, we unequivocally condemn all acts that target civilians, regardless of their nationality, ethnicity, or faith. Further, the patriarch said, we implore political leaders and authorities to engage in sincere dialogue, seeking lasting solutions that promote justice, peace, and reconciliation for the people of this land who have endured the burdens of conflict for far too long. We too pray for a cessation of violence and for the rights of both Israelis and Palestinians to live free from fear, violence, and war. As we explore the power of the paradox of CSL's global theme, we're aware that war and peace form the biggest paradox of all. How do we continue to know peace in the midst of war? 
We cannot move towards more peaceful world, a more peaceful world until we address the underlying causes of violence, inequity, injustice, colonialisms, and oppressions of all forms. Our founder, Ernest Holmes, declared, the promise that comes from practicing a conscious union, a conscious sense of union with the divine is a deep abiding peace, even in the midst of personal or planetary challenges. We can create a spiritual chain, re chain reaction which can bring peace in the midst of chaos. We can unite in focusing the energy of love to bring peace to Israel and Palestine, to, to the Ukraine, and to all areas of the planet where there is no peace through the creation of a spiritual chain reaction. Allow the energies of peace, love, and harmony to rise up and become strong. Peace begins at the center of our own being, where instead of moving to fear, anger, or anxiety, we focus on the greater powers of love, peace, and harmony. We hold a space for peace to be realized. We convene peace vigils, prayer calls, and read sac sacred texts while we engage in sacred activism. We band together to remind each other that there is an infinite and divine creative force of life that is wholeness and truth. We stay in constant prayer without ceasing to remember what we know, re rekindle our sometimes dwindling faith, and continue to seek the light amidst the dark abyss. However, it is not enough to simply pray. We must also act. Get involved with local agencies, provide relief to refugees, donate to reputable agencies working in areas of the world where there is strife. We offer this prayer of comfort and truth as a collective show of peace and faith in the divine presence of love right in the mixed midst of war. There is a power for good in the universe, and it is moving in and through me this day to bring peace, harmony, and good to all. The divine is everywhere present, especially and in including in all spaces of war, conflict, and violence. We bless all who are impacted by conflict of any kind. We lift, we lift up peace in the midst of war. We pray for healing and comfort where it is needed right now. In gratitude, we declare this truth collectively, and so it is. That is on the CSL website. Um, it's been up there since October. But I thought this was a good time for us to take a look at it and hear what we as a movement are saying about what is happening right now. You may have seen um, several years ago, it's been five or six years already, um, there was a Jewish reggae, or there is a Jewish reggae artist, uh, Matzen Yahu, um, who has a song called One Day. And it's a song about peace. I'm going to read a little bit of it in a middle, minute. But he went to the Middle East, and he taught that song to both Arabs and uh, Israelis. And they sang it in English and Arabic and Hebrew. Um, calling in peace. And I encourage you to go on YouTube and uh, Google that because it, it is, um, I think for me, the most wonderful moment of it is that after all of these folks, it's, it's hundreds of people singing this song of pe for peace, a prayer for peace. As soon as they are done singing, everyone in the audience starts to cheer. And that cheer is such a call of hope to me when I hear it. So the words of that, some of the words of that song are, sometimes I lay under the moon <clears throat> and I thank God I'm breathing. Then I pray, don't take me soon because I'm here for a reason. Sometimes in my tears I drown, but I never let it get me down. So when negativity surrounds, I know someday it'll all turn around because all my life I've been waiting for, I've been praying for, for people to say, we don't want to fight no more. There'll be no more wars, and our children will play one day, one day. So in order to speak about celebrating life without minimizing suffering, we can see the contrast, the contrast that the heights 
magnifies value and beauty, importance and sacredness. In A Course in Miracles, it says, you will begin to see reality when you see the little edges of light around familiar objects that you see now, when you recognize the sacredness of every present moment. One of the best movies that I've, that I've ever seen that had me crying big, ugly tears was the Italian movie Life is Beautiful from 1997. <clears throat> it won the Oscar for Best Foreign Film, uh, and Roberto Benigni was the first foreign actor ever to, to or actor in a foreign film to ever win Best Actor, which shows the universal appeal. The plot is that the father tells elaborate stories and plays imaginary games and uses humor to help his son get through the atrocities that they were experiencing in World War II. And it shows how we can find the beautiful beauty in life and discover good, discover good, in uh, truly any circumstance. But that is not to say that we should settle for inhumanity, oppression, or atrocities. But it is to say that life is full of beauty and possibilities, and the opportunity exists for love, compassion, and kindness to shine in any moment. Ernest Holmes said, spirituality is natural goodness. God is not a person. God is a presence personified in us. Spirituality is not a thing. It is the atmosphere of God's presence, goodness, truth, and beauty. That is the atmosphere that we swim in. We can always reach for the high ideal of loving kindness. Ernest Holmes also said, Love is within us. We, it cannot be destroyed, but it can be ignored. To the extent that we abandon love, we will feel that it has abandoned us. Denying love is our only problem, and embracing it is the only answer. Through the power of love, we can let go of past history and begin again. Love heals, forgives, and makes whole. So when we are grieving with those who grieve and we have compassion for those who suffer, it is life affirming. It is an acknowledgment of the value and importance of life. Going back to the song lyrics, sometimes I lay under the moon and I thank God that I'm breathing. And then I pray, don't take me too soon because I'm here for a reason. You can hear the yearning and the call for the idea of yes to life in those lyrics. So we know that thoughts are things. And when we state out loud and we connect with spirit and we raise our own vibration and the vibration of all. So I, I'm going to ask and invite you to, to stand up while we pray together. So, so at camp, when we sing songs we, and we want people to, to uh, respond, we say, this is a repeat after me song. And everybody says, this is a repeat after me song, <laughs> right? But today, I'm going to say, this is a repeat after me prayer. This is a repeat after me prayer. Great. <laughs> May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I feel connected and calm. May I feel connected and calm. May I know peace. May I know peace. May I know the natural joy of being alive. May I know the natural joy of being alive. May people impacted by violence know loving kindness. May people impacted by violence know loving kindness. May people impacted by violence feel connected and calm. May people impacted by violence feel connected and calm. May people impacted by violence know peace. May people impacted by violence know peace. May people impacted by violence know the natural joy of being alive. May people impacted by violence know the natural joy of being alive. May all beings 
be filled with loving kindness. May all beings be filled with loving kindness. May all beings feel connected and calm. May all beings feel connected and calm. May all beings know peace. May all beings know peace. May all beings know the natural joy of being alive. May all beings know the natural joy of being alive. Thank you. You may be seated. So you heard um, in the introductions, the announcements, that next Saturday um, we are celebrating World Labyrinth Day at Camp Cedar Ridge. Um, and that is something that goes on at hundreds of locations around the world. And it is a call for a kind of collected mindfulness. And so I would like to invite us to use the collective energy of that uh, day and that practice to reflect and walk in a consciousness of peace, healing, and rec reconciliation. Whether you're going to attend an event, um, if you're going to come to camp, if you're going to attend an event in Portland, whether you can attend any event in person or not, whether you just sit and take some time um, next Saturday when so many people will be engaged in this activity, let us walk, pray, vibrate and focus on that healing and loving energy and showing our solidarity with all as we value and celebrate life. I am going to end with a prayer by um, Ernest Holmes, which was written, he wrote in 1955. And it's part of a longer um, uh, thing that he wrote about war and violence. And I'm just going to read the last um, paragraph. <clears throat> let us, you and me, pray for peace and let us make our hearts fit to accept it when it comes. Let us make our intellect and our soul and our will and our feeling ready to receive it and embrace it even before it comes. Let us, in the stillness of our own soul, go back to that ineffable presence, which is peace, and proclaim it even in the midst of confusion, that peace which is the power at the heart of God. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you so much, Casey. That was very inspirational and just at the right time. <laughs> this is our time now for sacred giving. Thank you so much for your gracious giving. Your financial gifts enable us to be in this beautiful space, enjoy wonderful music, hear inspirational speakers, be inclusive of our virtual spiritual community, and support community nonprofits. They allow this powerful teaching to be known so that we can continue to grow and be an expression of spirit in the world. In a moment, the ushers will come around the sanctuary with a basket. If your preferred contribution is a cash, please tuck it in an envelope that you'll find in the seat back in front of you. This is important for PCSL members and those who would like to become members. We also welcome financial donations from our virtual uh, spiritual community online. You can find information about that on our website. You can text or uh, donate directly through our online uh, platform. The ushers have stepped forward, so thank you. What We do this as call and response, so again, <laughs> we will call. Yes, this is, thank you. This is call and response. Thank you, LaBronda. This is call and response. <laughs> Uh, we will accept and bless our offering together as call and response. I bless these sacred gifts, bless these sacred gifts. given graciously with love. These gifts bless, heal and prosper all they touch. In giving, I am grateful, In giving, I am grateful. to be richly, 
lavishly, and abundantly blessed. And so it is. And now welcome our musicians again. All right. We've got a wonderful Eddie Watkins Jr. song. To, oh, to make you want to give. <laughs> or make you want to get up and dance with us. Oh, tambourine, dang it, I left it down there. Oh, that's okay. Oh, there's another tambourine. Oh, we've got several. All right. <laughs> I'm not worried about tomorrow. Today I declare freedom from yesterday and mistakes of the past. Today all things are made new. And don't it feel good, y'all, to know that all is well and unfolding as it should. Let's have another round of applause for our, for Casey, our wonderful speaker, for all of our musicians, for the band. A celebration has, has certainly happened here today. So if you are going through any kind of trouble right now or would like to just improve or celebrate a part of your life, please consider a quick prayer with one of our licensed practitioners. Uh, we will be available at the front of the platform at the end of our service. We also have prayer request cards you can fill out in the back at the Ministry of Prayer table. And for our online audience, you can submit a prayer request on our website at cslportland.org. All of those prayers are immediately uh, distributed to our ministers and practitioners, and we're honored to pray with and for you throughout the week. And now I invite you to stand as you're able for our benediction. And we do this, again, as call and response. <laughs> All right. 
Something wonderful is flowing through me right now. Something wonderful is flowing through me right now. It is this thing called life. It is this thing called life. Life is in my mind. Life is in my mind. Life is in my body. Life is in my body. And life is in my affairs. And life is in my affairs. I think it. I believe it. I accept it. I am it. Just the way that I am. Thank you, life. And just know with me that you're never alone. The divine presence of love is within you always. Anytime during the day or night when forgetfulness comes upon you, simply go within and remember that you are always always loved. In gratitude for this remembrance, we let it be, and so it is. Yes, so it is. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll sing our closing song as we once again get ready for our, is it annual meeting, right? All right. Snacks and annual meeting. All right. The truth of who I am. All right. We hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you happen to be in the Portland, Oregon area, we'd love to have you visit in person. The Portland Center for Spiritual Living is located at 6211 Northeast Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Our inspirational service is at 11 a.m. every Sunday. We also have many programs, classes, and workshops developed just for our online audience. To find out more, go to our website at cslportland.org and look under the online tab. We have a variety of content dedicated specifically for our podcast listeners. Our mission is to open hearts, ignite minds, and make a difference. If you'd like to support our center and its podcasts, you can donate online at cslportland.org slash donate. Our website is also the place to learn more about what's going on at the center or to contact us. Allow us to become part of your extended spiritual community. Wherever you are in your spiritual journey, you are most welcome at the Center for Spiritual Living.